Viking was the first spacecraft to reach the surface of Mars and be an operational spacecraft. And the key challenge and the reason everyone failed before Viking is called entry, descent, and landing. The spacecraft enters the atmosphere of Mars about 100 miles above the surface, traveling at about 18,000 miles per hour. Seven minutes later, it has to be traveling at one or two miles an hour to make a soft landing on the surface and not collide and crash to the surface. Viking technology was that as you enter the atmosphere and get into the middle atmosphere, a supersonic parachute opens up and it slows it down and you lose about 90% of your velocity, but you're still going too fast for a soft landing. So what do they do? Well, they let the parachute do its job and, and descend toward the ground. Even they were going very, very fast, once they got to about a mile or so above the ground, their lander, which had a local short range radar, decided, hey, it's time to separate. So it fell away from the back shell and the parachute that was suspending it above, and it fell away and then they lit their rockets just a short kilometer or two above the surface of Mars. They used throttle engines. Other than landing on the moon, there are very few propulsion systems work with throttle engines. So they were really ahead of the game. So they lowered the vehicle down with the propulsion system until they came to a landing about two and a half meters per second impact with Mars with a three-legged, compressive-legged lander. And they did that successfully, not once, but twice. Fantastic. And Viking perfected the technology to do it successfully, and every Mars lander, every Mars rover, every Mars probe to successfully land since then has used Viking technology. Touchdown confirmed. Receive